Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. We're going to the Gold Leaf Galaxy because there's a purple coin comet there. And, of course, we always do one of these when it pops up. So, purple coins in the woods. Ah yes. This one has a timer, right? Anything to add a little extra challenge? Kinda sounds like it, yeah. Good old timer. Now here's the question. Are there extra coins, or is it just you have a time limit to get the normal amount? Because, uh, you know, the other two times it's given us a timer... Actually, no, not both times, but... You know, sometimes when it gives you a timer, it also gives you extra coins. So... We'll see how this goes. Whether it's too many, too little, or well, probably not too little, uh, I don't think that quite works. But whether it's just enough, or if it's too many, we'll find out. And we've got to swing all the way just to get those. And here. And... Hmm... Doesn't seem to be the usual rain clouds here. Hmm. Guess we'll have to get out without B Mario. Also, thank you, B, for telling me I'm on track for having enough. You should have 70 by the time you reach that B. And would you believe it? I had enough. I'm sure you've had enough of these puns, too. Especially if you've actually been watching the entire series. But, you know, who actually does that? Nah, you just watch the episodes that you want to watch. That's basically how most people do it, as far as I'm aware. And yep. And yep. Oh, take that. And, yep, and long jump, and spin, because I was nearly, nearly not gonna make that. Purely intentional. Was the speed strat. And now I have 57 seconds to reach that star. Hmm, I dunno. I don't know if I have the time to get this one, it... Oh, it's looking kind of tricky, I... Yeah. And next up, we have the last normal star in C slide. Although I'm pretty sure there's also secret star in this last star. The Silver Stars of Sea Slide. I've said stars too many times in the last few sentences. Let's just go get the optional main collectible of the game, if that is in fact a thing like I think it is. Ah, it's a Hungry Luma. That's what the secret star was. Also, the cannon is built. But that cannon is not for Hungry Luma related purposes. I don't know how many star bits I need for said Hungry Luma. But I... I'm gonna guess 50. Just because of how many I have. Yeah, you want... how many? 
40. Oh, cool, I have enough. Man, these things really are a lot more forgiving than their Galaxy 2 counterparts. Anyway, this hungry Luma transforms into basically a planet we've already seen. We've already seen a galaxy like that. But oh well. Except this time, instead of a uh, pathway of the notes, every single line is covered in them. So you've got to kind of think through your pattern, which I did not. So, you know, we'll see how this works out for me. Hint, it probably won't. But we'll see. Hang on. No, I might have this. I might not have this. Wait. If I long jump to the next one after singly getting these, that was not an intentional side flip, but hey, they, these things, they'll work out in the end if I just don't be an idiot. That's fine. There was a much more efficient path I could have taken, but who cares? I did it. And now we just fall onto that star. Yahoo! And next up... No new comets means actually collecting those silver stars. Uh, but they're spread so far across... I'll cut between it. First stop, this cannon again. Except this time, we go to the star shroom over here. Because what do you know? Silver star number one. Uh, uh, no, not into oblivion, thank you. I'd like not to fall out of the sky. And the second one involves B backtracking. Yep. Actually, the, I'm pretty sure this is how we're gonna end up getting most of them, but... We'll see. Or rather, we'll be. And on top of the big old tree over here... Uh... Oh. Both of the last two are those ones. Okay. I should have gotten the third one while I... or fourth one while I was back over the other side, but... Oh well. Now we have a way to the center one at least. Hey, buddy, what, what do you want? Nothing between here and the lighthouse. I'll thank you for the tip. Anyway. Thanks for that, Silver Star. And now, please take me where I need to. It just takes me back. Ugh. Any hoops. Last one, top of this tree from what I saw earlier. Yep, there it is. And the star appears. Please don't be on the middle island. It's on the start island. Sling star, help, please. Oh good! I'm so glad that's where that ended up. Yahoo! What an unnecessarily slow second star. 
And thing is, I don't think that's galaxy complete. Yeah, it's gonna have purple coins as well. But for now, we have to move on to the Toy Time Galaxy. First up... Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser. You know what? I like this one. It is somewhat cool. Because we're going to absolutely pull apart that robot. And... The, the toy version of the old Mario theme is pretty nice. And away we go! Hmm... Ah, Mecha Coopers. Been a while since we've run into you lot. Actually, there were Mecha Coopers in Sunshine, weren't there? Well... I was thinking of the, uh, SNES ones. The good old SNES. Hmm. I see. Gravity shift platforms. Also, I've definitely missed something crucial. Or well, not necessarily crucial, but I've missed something. It involves not going on that gravity switch, not going on that gravity switch. Fine, I'll just walk off this side then, if you're gonna be like that. And yep, and around that corner, life shroom. It wasn't crucial at all, but I knew it was back here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There was some, uh, gravity problems there for a hot minute. Ugh. Just, just be careful around gravity changes. That, that's some, uh, good life advice. And away we go! And next stop, somewhere over there. I'm gonna get this coin. I needed to. It's Spring Mario, the place where you'd normally first run into him, in fact. Not the worst power-up in existence, but still not very good. He's, uh, not especially well designed for finer movements. But you will have to learn to operate him as if it's, uh, fine movements. After all, I'm gonna need him in order to, uh, open this jar with this launch star in it. And, yep. Just gotta spring up on here, and ground pound. Easy enough. The Spring Mario challenges get harder. But for now, we've got to destroy this toy, apparently, Bowser. By slowly but surely tightening and loosening the appropriate screws. Like this one gets me up here. Now we unscrew this plate across the chest. And that will let us inside somewhere. Inside that panel, and also inside to the- There's a lot of gravity problems going on, please Mario, get out of there. Inside this green pipe, which brings us over here. 
Kinda want to know where that orange pipe went though, since I skipped it earlier. Oh, I think it just takes me to the other leg. It does. <laughs> okay. I basically had that memory as I realized, oh wait. Anyway, I'm getting kind of sick of these Mecha Koopas. All I gotta do is ground pound them. There we go. Bring that arm back down here. Excellent. Now I can walk on it. Do -do 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 -do. Go away, Swoop. I don't like you or your species. And straight up, take an arm off. Yep. And we get to watch as the arm falls off this toy Bowser thing. It's not really very Bowser designed, but hey, the game said it was a Mecha Koopa. So. I'll take the game's word for it, and jump, okay, I'm gonna pretend that was uh, exactly how I intended it to go. It was mostly how I intended it to go, in fact, but, oh. I don't think I actually need the spring from this point, though. I'm pretty sure I can just... Yeah. I think I beat it. And I saved all the little robot dudes that were trapped in the mouth. What do you all have to say? Good job, you did it. Guess I owe you a thanks. I thought we were done for. You're pretty close to done for back there. You're really far back on this conveyor belt. You could fall to your death any minute. But you know, we saved them. By putting them into an eternal running cycle. Ah, <sighs> heavy metal mecha bells are done. Now, what do we have next? Ah, the purple coins for, uh... Well, this, this galaxy is really gonna take up a lot of time on the episode because of this. Okay, purple coins by the seaside. Question is, is it timed? I... I don't think it is. I think it's just going to be a painfully slow collectathon again. Yahoo! Here, here we go! Uh, you gotta believe... Be... 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 Mario... Be... Black... Yellow... Yellow... Black... Shake it up a little... Be... Be... Uh, I'm... I'm a bee. I'm going backwards for some reason, I just figured it'd be more immediately lucrative in coins, but maybe I'm mistaken, I... I don't really know, there's... there's a lot. Look, this galaxy is a pretty big one to spread a hundred coins across. This is... This is gonna take a while, you know? I'm already, uh, not feeling it, as it were. You know? Uh, moving on from the big tree. The big tree alone had a lot of these coins. And the fact is, there's just still so many to get. I really hope there wasn't one on top of the cloud, like, way over there. Cause, you know, it was kind of out of the way and such. And I'm gonna fly up to this one, at least check 
doesn't look like there's... Can't even... Oh. Yeah. No, the cloud that was back was fine. Sorry, that was a lot of awkward camera angle switching. And yes, I know, there was a single coin I missed back there. It was underwater. I'm not dealing with it yet. Not while I'm being around. And now these ones. Thanks, Toad, for saying you got those purple coins, and then I just completely stole them from you. Well, halfway there. At least that's something. Now, top of the tower. And just here. And these ones. And I know there's some in the little, uh, not parapets, but like windows, I guess. Just the ones around here. And no. Ugh. Ah, oh, well. I'm sure I'll get more uh, B power to get the remaining ones in the air. Yeah, there's another B suit right here. Great. This is a painfully slow star. I am getting really sick of it, cause it's just a lot of beef flight. And... We've gotta be coming up on the end. With ten more? Th this has to be like, it, right? Just this one, the ones along this path, and the one I left at the start, right? And any I might have missed along the way, but I'm seriously hoping I hadn't. Wait, that coin wasn't actually underwater? I thought it was. It was probably just the angle I was looking at it from. Okay. Yeah, this one, one in the tree just here. And the one I purposely left behind, thinking it was underwater, when it was not. Please tell me the star is in a... Close by location. Are you kidding me? No matter which way I went from this starting island, I would not have been anywhere near that tower. I would uh, have either gone this way, and circled back and ended at the big tree, or I would have gone the way that I did and ended at the start here. Come on, game. You know what? Uh, are there any shells? Can I just swim over there to make this faster? There aren't even shells. All the shells have despawned because they wanted you to be flying the, the whole time. But that is so much slower for, you know, the fact that I'm not over there. Ah, uh, worst purple coin star in the game. The galaxy is just way too big to make it be flight based. Should have just put the coins underwater and left the shell in. Jesus. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.